Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of web servers and databases. Specifically, I'll be showing you how to install the LEMP stack on Ubuntu 24.04. LEMP stands for Linux, Nginx, MySQL, and PHP. It's a powerful combination that's perfect for running dynamic websites and applications. So let's get started. First, let's update and upgrade our system to make sure we have the latest packages. Open your terminal and run the following commands. Once the update and upgrade process is complete, we can move on to installing Nginx for Hyoaning. Nginx is a high-performance web server. To install Nginx, type the following command. Remember, you don't need to manually activate Nginx because on Ubuntu 24.04, it is pre-configured to start automatically after reboot by default. To ensure everything is functioning as expected, open a web browser and enter your server's IP address in the address bar. If everything is set up correctly, you should see the default Nginx welcome page. This step is crucial for verifying that the installation was successful. However, if you cannot open the page, your firewall might be enabled. You can check by using this command. If it says active, then it is enabled. You can use this other command to open port 80 and port 3. Next, we'll install MariaDB, which is the database management system run the following command to install MariaDB. MariaDB is an open source relational database management system that is a fork of MySQL. It was developed by the original developers of MySQL after concerns about Oracle Corporation's acquisition of MySQL. MariaDB aims to remain free and open source while providing additional features performance improvements and enhanced security. Once installed, secure your MariaDB installation by running the following command. This command is used to improve the security of a MariaDB installation. This command runs a script that performs several recommended security-related tasks. Set the root password. If the root account does not have a password set, this script will prompt you to create one. This is crucial for securing the database from unauthorized access. Remove anonymous users. By default, MariaDB AD installations allows anonymous users to connect to the database. This script will prompt you to remove these anonymous users, which is a good security practice. Disallow root login remotely. The script gives you the option to disable remote root logins. Allowing root to log in remotely can be a security risk, so it's generally recommended to disable this. Remove the test database. MariaDB comes with a test database that anyone can access. This script will prompt you to remove the test database and its access rights, reducing potential security vulnerabilities. Finally, the script will prompt you to reload the privilege tables, ensuring that all the changes made take effect immediately.
you can log into MariaDB using this command. Use your root password to log in. Installing the PHP scripting language is the final step to get your LEMP stack up and running on your Ubuntu 24.04 system. Ubuntu 24.4 LTS offers PHP 8.3 in its repositories. Let's install it along with some commonly used extensions. The PHP service will start automatically in the background. You can check its status. By running this command, press the letter Q to exit. Now, we need to configure Engine X to use PHP processor. Open the default server block file in a text editor. Look for the location block and make the following changes. Next, add the following snippet to the default server block to allow Nginx to process PHP files. save the file and exit. Then test the modified Nginx configuration for syntax errors by running the following command. If there are no errors, reload Nginx to apply the changes. Finally, let's test our PHP setup. Create a PHP test file in the web root directory. Finally, try to access it from a web browser using your server's IP address. And that's it. You've successfully installed the LEMP stack on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. Your server is now ready to host dynamic web applications. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next time.